fun. Yeah. Until one day, John Cap got attacked down there. I could see that. Yeah, he got physically attacked. He got there. attacked at the comedy store. I think. <laughs> I know. I did. Being I did. an I, asshole. I know. Apparently, he's attacked everywhere. I don't know Caprola that much, but I didn't say Caprola. I just said John Cap. Right, John Cap. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so, but now, what about this though? What was that experience? And I'll tell you what my experience was like then. But what was the? Would you guys go down there and go dancing? Was it more of a like a romantic time back then? Well, you, we would hold hands or something. What you no, like I, I feel like you know there was a time where you know engaging with prostitutes and that sort of thing was more of a. Well, they're set up. They're set up. Uh, well, if you've ever been to Adelita or Chicago Club or Hong Kong Cafe or any of those places, I've never been to any of the hot spots. Really, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, I was a ch- I was a lazy dude who was just doing it off a back page and like scared it as a part. Right, 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 right. Except in Amsterdam, one time I went. Yeah, we. You'd go down there, and mm-hmm. there is dance. It's it's set up like nightclubs, right? So it's like there's music, and you, I do some dancing because I can dance. Yeah, I'm yeah, sure, I, so I, I got some moves. But but it's not ballroom dancing. It's not like no, slow. it's not very. <laughs> no, it's not the fifties. I'm picturing. Oh yeah, I'm picturing yeah, yeah. it being like elegant. No, it's not elegant at all. No, <laughs> okay. no, they play Rihanna, oh, damn, shit like that, dude. right? And then you're like you're dancing to Rihanna, right? Or back then, like informer, like yeah. Back then like, it was like yeah, informer, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah right. So you're dancing to inform, and then you know. And then a girl goes, La uh, Botella. Yeah. Mister, Mister. That's what you would hear a lot. Mister, Mister. Boom, boom, Mister. Oh, really? And you go, Excuse me? Boom, boom, Mister. And you go, Okay, how much? It's boom, boom for sex. $60. <laughs> and you could usually talk them down to 40 back then. Oh. And then you speak $40. It's, like, it's a lot of money, I guess, when you're a poor Give comic. Them 60 What? Give them six. You're telling me <laughs> No, 40. You're telling 40. jokes, bro. 40. I'm an open micer. <laughs> Who gives a fuck, dude? Their mic's open to the whole fucking world, I understand bro. that, but I'm not making a lot of money. Now, 60. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, now 60 with a $5 tip. 65, dude. Wow. Wow. That's pretty good. That's good. Generous. And yeah. a lot of them would pay to fuck you now, I bet. No, 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 yeah. dude. Nobody wants to fuck. I bet you have some fans nobody out there. Nobody wants to fuck. Me, no. I'd pay to watch you fuck somebody for a couple minutes. You would? Yeah. It'd be funny. Would you laugh? I think you would. Here's what I would do. Yeah, I would probably order a coffee or something. <laughs> you know? Do I? Do I? But do, during it, like I'd watch, but I'd also be like, "Yeah, I want just like a medium with almond milk, please." Uh, and then you know, so that way I'm watching and I'm cheering you on. It would be like the World Cup a little bit. There's this dude named Mike Burton. He's a comic. Uh huh. And we did this it's gig. Tim Burton's son, isn't it? No, it's not Tim Burton's son. You sure? I don't know. But Mike Burton. <laughs> oh wait, I fucking know Mike Burton. You know Mike Burton? Yeah, he's sm- like little and angry. Jew- he's like a Jewy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Krav Maga. Right, he's right. Wrestling. He dude. One time he put his own self in a headlock and choked himself <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on yeah. Accident. that dude. Yeah, and I'm just yeah. I, so I, I did a take, gig with that dude. Yeah, me too. And there was a feature, a girl. I was opening, mm-hmm. and wow, he convinced her because she did a bit about on stage about having a threesome. Mm-hmm. So afterwards, Mike Burton goes, "Hey, would you have one with me and Bob?" She's like, "Okay." We go to the hotel room, right? Wow. And are you nervous or something? No, he's more I, I couldn't believe it. Right? I couldn't you couldn't believe, believe what that he would include me. And y'all are the same height. I know it's cute. Yeah, it is very We're a cute, cute affair. And but I see him being like aggressive and wanting to win the threesome. There's always that's that what I can do. I, and you know what? I'm happy to, to be that guy. Yeah, to be like on the outside. I'm happy to lose the threesome. What do you mean? Like to do it, but also like I don't need to come in first place. There's always the dude that needs to come in first. Uh, no, place. I, I second for sure. Yeah, I'm like the tag team guy. Yeah, yeah. right. You go do your thing. Yeah, right. There's the hero. Then you come in and take a couple body slams. You be the head then... chef, right? You be the head chef. I'll be do. I'll do desserts. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, that's what. Yeah, that's my yeah, thing. Yeah. Right. So he's. We get naked. Uh huh. And they both just start cackling. Oh wow! With laughter when they see my body. Oh. But I'm laughing too, right? But I did it anyway. But the whole time. Why you'd never you'd seen your body before. They've never seen my body, though. Right, but what are you laughing at? Because they're laughing at my body. Oh, okay. They're laughing so hard, it makes me want to laugh. I thought you so, were waiting your whole life to see your body, and this is when you decided to do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's not it. I had seen my body. Do I have mirrors? Yeah, but you could also not see your body if you want. Like, I'll go sometimes, you know, I remember one time that, I went like eight months oh without God. seeing my legs. I understand that, but what I'm saying to you right now is that I don't think even cavemen... Back in the day, yeah, where they didn't have mirrors, mm-hmm. 
and they weren't that bright, mm -hmm. they've seen their own legs at least. Yeah. And they've even looked inside a pond and seen the reflection of their face. Yes. There's no one on the face of this planet that has an IQ over 50 that's never seen, right? They've all seen their bodies and their faces. And what you're saying is that. a ridiculous... You think everybody? Everyone that's ever lived on the face of no. this planet. You're saying that because you experienced... The no, no, no. I'm saying way. that... What I'm saying that is if you're a baby... Right, yeah. you don't know what a circle is. <clears throat> right, right. You don't, you know, you like even like a triangle. You're trying to in your head go, "What is that?" Right. That's one thing. But if you're the, over the age of five, let's just say anyone over the age of five, over the IQ of fifty, they've all seen their bodies and their faces. Yeah, uh, over the age of fifty, but you guys are no, 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 young. 50, 50 um, IQ. I mean. Oh, I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I think if you're around long enough, you get to see your full body. And, well, and well, there you go. Then, then, then I win the argument, then. I'm not arguing about this at all. I was just saying for eight <laughs> months, I oh. decided not to see, look at my own legs for I eight months. <laughs> That's all I was saying. Yeah, yeah. And I did it. And it's a new experience. You, have, you don't have a new experience. You're like, oh, fuck. When you finally reveal your own legs to you, it's a... So you did that to your... Wow, you challenged yeah, it's like yourself. a diet. It's like, it's like a visual ah, diet. Ah, yeah. I did that with... I was a vegetarian for a month. Yeah, there you go. Same thing. It's not the same. I was like a legitarian, dude. You're a, you know? <laughs> you're a legitarian. Yeah. But anyway, That's finish your fucking story, man. I don't even know what I was talking about. You you're talking about so being at the, at the strip club. They laughed at your body. Yeah. Oh, no, with the oh, two the girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. No, so we were cackling, but, you know, she would be blowing him. And I would be down eating her out. Oh wow! Really? Well, yeah, at the same yeah. time. At the same time. No. Nah, but we would be. I would. Bro, be, you're getting secondhand smoke, bro. <laughs> what do you mean, bro? If she's blowing a dude, <laughs> and you're eating her, and, and she you're never doing, blew it. You, you're you know what? eating her out. You're getting secondhand uh, smoke. Bro. I'm doing all the groundwork. Oh, but still, no. Right, bro. It's like you blowing him, bro. <laughs> Oh, you like a like a centipede kind of a that's thing? Crazy, yeah, 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 yeah. Dude. It's like a centipede kind that's of thing. A, bro, that's gayer than just you <laughs> blowing him. Oh that, man. Well, you know, I've done gayest things too. Bro, that's like holding somebody's dick while they're like if you hold on to some guy's nuts while he's fucking another dude, what's yeah. that called? That's being gay. No, that's <laughs> called like rosy like it's uh, it has like a crazy it has like a name. Oh, like a sexual something. name? Yeah, it's like Sigma it's not no, what is it? It's like a celebrity nickname. You know those, you know those like Nick, those, those little moves that people make up as a joke, yeah, like the dirty Sanchez, yeah, yeah. Where you stick your finger in the girl, and then you give her a mustache. Oh, that's gross, right? But the, and it's how you get pink eye too. That's how you get pink eye for sure. Yeah, but no, that's not something that people do though. Right? No, it's all made up. Like a blumpy. Yeah, blumpy's pooping and also getting a blowjob at the same time, right? Yes, that's and that's never, on, that's never happened. No, and that's also disgusting. It happens in Cancun a lot though. Yeah, music festivals. Yeah. Oh, so it has happened before. Yeah, yeah. Oh. What about the paranormal? Have you heard of that one? Uh, uh, oh, that's when, yeah. No, tell me what you're... That's when somebody's blowing you, but you go outside and wave at them or something? No, it's basically, you're fucking a girl from behind, mm -hmm. then you kind of get out, you have your friend take over. Didn't Amy Schumer use this in a... In a in she a, did? In a closer? What was that? What? Was that some controversial closure she had, but Patrice O'Neill had used it, I think. Yeah, but, but yeah. That, but that's not even a... But that's like a street it's joke. It's an internet joke, yeah. It's an internet joke, I'm saying. Bro, that's back when they were giving Amy Schumer money to just stand around, you know? That's another thing. And I want to say this. And I'm not being bitter. I'm not being bitter. I want to say something. And it has nothing to do with her. I like her. Yeah. Nice lady. But when does that happen for me? Yeah. Have you thought about that? Oh, I think it for some people the industry just like forces a thing. Yeah, you know? I've never been forced. I I've always been like on the outside. Yeah. And I have to like drill in just to get a little peace. But that's why you're a great comic, man. Yeah, but I want a free ride. But a lot of these people like would Amy should even be able to do a hour special? She's gonna, she wants to be a politician. I don't think she's even I Yeah, because she's beyond it now. I, like, I see, like I see I don't ever want to be beyond comedy. That's my I, see, I saw Chelsea Handler like you know, what are you, water skiing? What are you, when they do on the boat, water skiing? Yeah. And she's like, you know, and then she's with her dog later at the lake. Yeah. Well, I want to. But Chelsea Handler's not funny, though. No one she's thinks funny. she's. <laughs> no, nobody thinks she's Come funny. Da, 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 da. Who thinks she's Chelsea Handler? Yeah, I, 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 I do. I do. I you do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah. don't really. I did do She's it. not cool. But she, she was. Okay. My, my, no, but, uh, but the, the, can I, I just want to let you know yeah. that isn't that the goal, though? I don't think so. 
So you want to struggle the whole time? No, I'm not going to struggle, but I don't need to be greedy. I don't need to get to a certain level of wealth to make me feel like I'm a certain level of achievement. Yeah, sure, that's healthy, yeah. That's me too. You know? Me too. <laughs> but do you believe that? Like, I don't know. No, I mean, I, I know I'm going to be okay. No, like, because I'm, I, I'm going to be okay. Okay, like, here's the thing. Yeah. It, I've been in the business for over 20 years. Yeah. And I've worked. I have. I've been on shows. Oh, I, you've been on a ton of shows that have not done well, too. That's what I'm saying. You could just say I was about and great shows. Never been in a great show. Mad TV was a great show. Mm -hmm. When you were on it, that reboot was fucking horrible. Yeah. Did you see that fucking thing? Come on, man. Jesus, you saw it? Yeah, it was a piece of shit. Yeah, yeah. well, it was because of the budget. Was it though? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be like, you know, diplomatic. Well, diplomatic about about yeah, it. but let's just be. I mean, it was not fucking good. I mean, Amir K was pretty good. I mean, he's you know like Adam Ray was character. on it. He was good. Adam Ray does good, but it's just like a lot of it's the same character. I mean, I just feel like they could do. They could have really gotten some. They just went for diversity. It was just like it was a cheap. It wasn't really based on talented fucking character people. I yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, if you want some real characters, go get some fucking characters, man. You know, yeah, yeah. Go yeah. get fucking Don Barris. Get those fucking goonies. He's got fucking <laughs> performing up there on Monday night. One yeah. of the fucking sailors. And one guy thinks he's on a fucking <laughs> battleship. Oh, like homeless people with <laughs> no, mental problems. But that guy thinks he's been on a battleship. Get that guy. <laughs> get, get that black dude that wears that coon skin cap every night. Yeah, yeah. That boy fucking dirty Steven Turner. That fucking dude yeah. showing up in a fucking raccoon coat, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the that show you would see? But that's a character, yeah. yeah. A char get a fucking character Yeah, but in he there. can't do anything but that. But that's at least that character I'll follow for fucking five for seasons. For life. Right. You know what I'm that's saying? A good way Some guy it. pretending he's a fucking chubby Italian waiter, like that, you know, in every skit or whatever. <laughs> it's fucking not believable. I would love to see that character. You know? Or chubby give me, Italian waiter. Give me Amir K fucking pretending like he's the ghost of Michael Landon. Right. You know? I'll watch that for a million, a million years. years. Right. It's just a lot. There was a lack of creativity, I thought, with it. You yeah. Know? And it didn't do well. I think that's the obviousness of it. It didn't fucking do. Nobody gave a fuck about it. Yeah. Yeah. No one gave a fuck about Mad TV at the time, though. Whatever. It's you, only you guys have Michael McDonald. That guy was fucking good. Yeah, he played the Key wedding Peele, planner or whatever. Key and Peele. Yeah, yeah. Key and Peele. Ike Barinholtz. A lot of good guys. You know. But, yeah, there was some dudes on there that were fucking straight killers. Yeah. You know. But at the time when we were doing it, like uh -huh. I used to drive down um, Sunset Boulevard because Jordan Peele didn't have a car. Right. For the five years I worked with him. Right. But so you knew that if we were in the sketch together that he would be walking down the street and I'd have to pick him up. And he'd be just kind of, you know, walking down the street with his hand in his pocket. And he, and at the time, we would just be, you know, we would just be hanging out going, wow, this doesn't feel like we're doing anything, huh? Yeah, no one gives a shit. But people cared. I know, but in our heads and what we, what we were, no, no because we so saw the financially, numbers. financially, you weren't doing well is what you're saying. Everything. It didn't feel like a show, man. And only in later, when after you know Will Sasso, everyone left, and we all did our own thing, mm -hmm. and then we got respect. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was. But while we were on it, we didn't get any no fucking respect. Really? No, dude. I mean, you should. I, I would go online, and people would rip me apart. Bro. I could see that. You know, like you fat, ugly piece. You're not talented. I mean, on and on. Yeah. And this is when the internet was new. Yeah. So you took it personally. Oh yeah. You didn't yeah. know what a troll was. Yeah. Right, so they thought then, it was a friend. You thought it was like your neighbor or somebody that you knew, right. and then you were like, "Oh, should I kill myself?" Yeah. There was this thing called Mad TV, uh, Planet Mad TV. Mm. It was out of Canada, and it was a forum, and they had like a page with me, uh, like, but it was twelve pages of just strictly, he's not funny, right? And it was brutal, you bro. Fucking yeah, you orange gob stop or shit like that. Yeah. Dude, they had an Asian kid in a play one time at our school. He wasn't really Asian, but they some kid they painted him orange, dude. How fucking crazy is that? Wait, wait, wait. You guys did like platoon, but like yeah, uh, yeah. La, yeah. platoon, but like a high but school version. It was version. the Nutcracker. It was the Nutcracker oh. Suite. Sounds and like Willy Wonka. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and Drosselmeyer was Asian. They wanted somebody. Um, yeah, there had been like an uproar or something, or somebody had just bombed a different country and they wanted to do like a tribute or something. So they made one of the Drosselmeyer Asian. No. Yeah. Whoa. And this was like, and um, and they didn't, yeah, they painted him orange and put like big, like dark hair on him. <laughs> really? Yeah, I thought it was really sweet, actually. Because here's the thing a lot of times it's the intention. Like, what's the intention? Like, if somebody meant well, 
then that's their intention. You know, it's like their right. intention was good. And if you're a good person, you can recognize that. I think most, a lot of what goes on these days is an intention. It's like just, uh, you know, it's a lot of this like fake, like, oh, this is, it's just the media telling you something's bad or telling you this or like, it's like people being racist on Twitter. It's like, you're not fucking, when I was young, you had to really be racist. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like when I was young, they had real racist people. They had real white people that didn't like black people and real black people that didn't white, like white people. And they had to get out there and fucking prove it. You know what I'm saying? Get out there and be beat somebody's ass if you're racist. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now you're just tweeting and you're considered racist. Yeah. That's fucking pussy Like Rodney shit. King. Oh, yeah. That was out, like on tape. Right. Get out there and find yeah, Reginald go Denny. Do, yeah. yeah. Or get out there and Reginald Denny. You right. Know? Prove your worth. Prove your fucking worth. Now you're tweeting and you're racist. You're a pussy. Yeah. You see the N word a couple of times. It's like, come on, yeah, man. Yeah. Get it. That's Back nothing. it up. And with you, even, a rope. you didn't even say it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 too much? Yeah. Well, I took it to next level. Dude, yeah, bro. Oh, I'm sorry, back it up, I mean. Not with a <laughs> rope, but with like a Swiss Army knife or whatever. Yeah, but I'm just saying, uh, back then you had to like get out there and actually call somebody the N-word. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You had to actually be racist. Yeah, yeah. Now it's just like you can sit in your home somewhere right. and say like, oh, these fucking honkies, and you're a racist? Nah, yeah, man, nah. get out there and do it. And when I was in middle school, I was in The Sound of Music. Yeah. And I played... I Would you play? I know what you, I know what the you kids, play, dude. One of the kids. You did? Yeah, I played Kurt, oh, the wow. middle kid. I could see that. So the, there's, there's a scene Kurt, where Kurt. Fraulein Maria mm -hmm. is introducing you know, us to the dude. Uh, well, no, we're getting introduced to Fraulein Maria. Yeah. We're coming down the stairs. <laughs> and when I'm coming down the stairs, we did like 12 shows. Mm -hmm. Every time I would come down the stairs, the whole audience would do a laugh applause break. Because wow. it was so funny that I was like the Asian guy in the middle. Mm. And every time I go, I'm Kurt, I'm 12 or whatever the line is, mm -hmm. people would go ah, and laugh. So I remember going to the director, going, hey, um, is there any way we can change the lines? Wow, what a pussy. And they're like, me? Yeah. No, you have to justify it. Why are you I'm the Kurt, I'm adopted. It? Just so that, it, you know. But you're making them laugh. You're a comedian. Yeah, but at the time, I didn't want to be a comedian. I was trying to be a serious actor in this a serious actor sound of music. An Asian in sound of music to get your fucking <laughs> life together. <laughs> what a fucking idiot, bro. <laughs> I know that's not the director's fault that you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> What, is there a fault for even casting me? Is that what you're saying or no? You're trying to fucking play a white kid in war-torn Germany. <laughs> <laughs> you want them to change the lines? Just justify why would there be, out of all these kids, yeah. the middle kid is Asian? Don't you think that's weird watching a play like that? This is the, ex this is the exact, it, this is the problem. This is California's issue right now. It's like California wants everybody to fucking explain. Like, we need to change the director. Like, look, director, we've got a problem. Like, you know, one of the children in uh, one of the Von Traps is Asian, and they don't feel really good when they come down the stairs because people are laughing. Yeah, because you're a fucking Asian in Von Trapp, okay? Okay, I get what you're saying. Right. You can't change the whole fucking thing. It's like <laughs> Black Annie. You can't have a black. That, that's it's what, like you can't have Kathy Griffin play fucking. I understand, but in Black my, Annie, but in Black Annie, right? Yeah. She was still black in the show, right? Right. She wasn't pretending to be actual white Annie, right? Me, but no, I had to wanted. be. I had to be white Kurt. Oh, I see. That's what I'm saying, right? If it was like you, you had know, to be like, if it was Hello, all everyone. if it was an all Asian cast right. and it wasn't in Germany, but it was now in Singapore, right? Then you wouldn't have to do it. I see what you're saying, right? But it's like. When you're watching white sound of music mm -hmm. and you see one Asian kid, mm -hmm. you have to change the lines a bit. Yeah. And go, this is Kurt, like the dad going, this is Kurt. He stands out in the sun too long. Yeah, okay. And just one line. Right. And it changes the whole thing and everything. Then we can continue the story. Then it all makes sense. Right, makes sense. I see what you're saying. Yeah, he likes to run into walls. That's right. why his face is fucking 